The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the Buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. Today, a couple of squads here to square off in a Big 12 showdown. As we'll see, the Baylor Bears taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's go crank us up. Here he comes from inside his own five. Smashes through the tackle. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the club. believes in this young man and Palmer. There's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll keep it himself. Fights off the defender. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at... Going and picking off that safety. Out of the gun. The running back has it. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Dropping back, it's Finn. Zings it complete to the right. Oh, the quick spin move. And good blocking in space out there to give him a... Leaves it with the back. Using that running game to bludgeon forward. He's got four down to the 35. Everyone is right where they're supposed to be. Nowhere to run. On third down, he drops the throw. Pulls it in. It's Hawkins. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first. Running for it on fourth down. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on down. In this matchup, David. And it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this. Again. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Pressure coming. And he can't escape, and down he goes. This defense, they are up front that are athletic and that are so strong and that can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. First down, sack for the defense, brings up second down. Looking to pass, it's Sanders. Fires to the big fella. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing a big hit stick on the road? Got to get off to a quick start in conference play. It is always wacky, Reese. Like, there's always something that happens in the Big 12, and somebody comes out of nowhere in the Big 12 every single year. So, starting in conference play, Palmer, these games start to really matter on fourth downs. You're right. Create some of those explosives. Take those deep shots. Make those big plays. From the gun, the running back has it. They knock him down after a gain of three to the 23. And the running... From the gun, wants to pass. And that pass picked off. Got room on the return. And he's gonna score on the interception. You gotta put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. You got to go out and not try to get it all. Abilities first down from the 43. He'll pull it on the read. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Well, they were dialed in. Got that sucker to the From the shotgun, they'll run it. Got the first down and more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was... Later on. 
Yeah, exactly. And you know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down. And sometimes you don't necessarily read it correctly, get some positive yards, and, and then we come back and we do it all over again with, with different reads against the different defense. Here's the handoff. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this deep field goal range. You're seeing them start to stiffen up. Yeah, and plays don't matter anymore. Yards don't matter. All that matters with these defenses nowadays is points and limiting. Them. And they pick up the first down in what might be the last play here in the first quarter. With this first down play. They'll go to the ground. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. I'll tell you, they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. From the gun, give on the inside. Stop is me, but he picks up four yards down to the... On fourth down, flexing that muscle in the run game. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the... ...to what they do well. They know where the first down marker is, and they get the first down. They'll try to get it in with the run. Forges ahead for one to the eight-yard line. And these defense... Those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Make that next down easier so I can try to get a little bit closer to the goal line and I can get that touchdown. Heads he play by the QB. And he'll find the end zone. Let's go. Well, our starting running back's hurt. He's been hurting. They had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Really nice stop there from this senior lead. After run, 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 now throw. Unloads it downfield. He's got it down the left. And the defense couldn't corral him and it's 52 yards out. They're just about ready to kick it away. On the move from inside is five. He's able to work his way across the 25 to the 26 before. And David, how they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse. And they're going to try to do it right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. To the air. It's Finn. Find his big tight end. Love to see these third down 39-yard line. Looking for a productive play on first down. To the ground with the back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Caught in the backfield, it's Hawkins. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. He's looking to throw on third and short. Now he's going to glide away from pressure. Oh, he just handled it poorly, and it's a fumble. And Points, if you turn it over, they've got to do a better job of ball security. Very, very lucky that ball went out of bounds. Off play action on first down. Coming after it. And the quarterback is snowed under. They had their ears pinned back. On second down, he's looking downfield. Right down the middle. A strike downfield. He's run out of bounds.
fouls, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving. This ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it. Because he really didn't have a choice. Because he was going to wear that one regardless. Give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. We've reached... Looking to throw, it's Finn. Looking to buy time. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. They'll play it safe and try for three. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. It's good. 25. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. That last drive, really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touch. First and ten coming up. Looking to move it through the air. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Fires to the wideout. And that ball is picked off. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the four. They play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, making a big play. Know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on him. Goals. You kick too many field goals, you don't get very many W's. Looking to go up top on first down. They'll run the screen. On the move at the 30. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one. Flipping the running back screen and behind it, there was nobody there to make a tackle. And this offense generates a massive play. Trying to find his man on first down. Got the quick pass. There's a timeout call to this offense. A little bit sooner, he might have had a chance to intercept that one and take it to the house. He's looking to throw. Safe completion on the screen. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before they'll reach marker. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And the Bears have it with a first and ten. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Got some room entered to the goal line. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Bears! And then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution of the drive by that offense. What better of it? They'll bring it out to the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. He'll start this drive firing. Got his man quickly. Tackle all more juice boxes and orange slices. Quick pass on the jet motion. And he's able to get some positive yardage before he's brought down, and that'll bring us to halftime. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football. But they got to do a better job with pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. Not the biggest play in the world, but it's one that can set... They'll put the tight end in motion. Might as well stick with him. Nifty little dance step. They'll get him on the ground at the 46, and it'll be a first half. He'll be just short of the first down. On the run, it's Hayden. Hard running there. Slammed to the ground, but not the first and 10 from the 38-yard line. the 
quick game. They make the stop and pick up that first down. Power football with the run. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Hold it, hold it, up and up and and down. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. He finds his man. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific first down. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. With the run on first and goal. He'll pick up three before he's down at the six. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. DB's right up on the receivers. Quarterback will keep it. Touchdown, Bucks! And that one will... K-State. We'll circle back if anything big happens you need to know about. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They're bringing heat. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Looking to throw, it's Finn. Trying to make magic with his feet. He is brought down, but man, what a job to find some running. Inside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. With the catch, it's Hawkins. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. It's in his toolbox. This offense is starting to believe, and as they generate yards and points, they're bringing momentum with them. Powers through the defender. That's why they love to feed this senior running back. He'll impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. They're setting up the screen. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. They'll try to run for it. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. Downs. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster. Up front like we saw in that last play. They're going to ride this running back. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. It's only can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Dropping back. It's Finn. Feeling some heat. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down. Back. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. And they'll send the field goal team back out for the second time tonight. The field goal is good. And you can't stop. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano y mano up front. And your guys getting a push. They know you're running it. And they still can't stop it. And as they get him to the ground, clock running, looks as if time will play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. And the Buffaloes moving quickly to the line. This is a top 25 offense in college football, and I like what they do. They can run the football on third downs when they need to. They show you right there. They've got some balance to them. They really know who they are. They have a good identity, and that's why they've been so successful this season. Wide receiver shows motion. That back had nowhere to go. The defensive line ate up the blocks. How about the linebacker swarming in, coming in and making a great play on the ball carry? Quick tempo here for the offense. Linebackers shuffling around, trying to keep the quarterback from getting a read. Quickly complete. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. The Buffaloes are on the move. He 
has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. Another critical third down here in the fourth quarter. Surprise, surprise. Guess who they go to back in. Man, it's nice to do whatever he wants, when he wants, how he wants. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover? Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first. Here, we forced the interception. Great job by the defense. When they needed it the most, they came through. Field goal last time. And yeah, they moved the ball down the field, Jesse. Just couldn't put it in the end zone in that red area where they needed to be a little bit more efficient. I think they just got to do a little better job of executing on this drive. And let's see if they can punch it in for six this time. Get some points. Quick completion to the right. Still running at the 40. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense right. Eight. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Touch pass on the jet sweep. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Well, in rotating when you see that motion, so everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Found that crease and they knock him down after a pickup of five to the third. Running back searching for a hole. That's a 20. He's got space. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first. Looking for a crease. It's Richardson. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Brought down after a five-yard gain down to the seven. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring Down a possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. Touchdown, Baylor! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. What a great job by this offense. Inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch. In those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter, late in the game, just like right here, you need a score. Looking to throw, it's Finn. Good timing on the quick out. He gets it into the end zone, the two point. The drive starts from their own 25-yard line. They'll start this drive with a pass. Finds his man down the middle. And the defense had that one well covered. To try to rally here late. The coach wants the officials to have another look at the monitor. Using a timeout here, thinks the call is going to end up going his way. And that's what tight ends are a lot of the times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. Trying to get rid of it. That pass is incomplete, and they might. This will be the ninth play of the drive. DBs will try to keep everything in front. Unloads to the right. Got his man. And he ran away from the crowd, and he'll take it in. No. Very lucky that last one was not picked off. Misfired on first down, back to the air on second. Catch in the middle, it's Hawkins. He almost picked up the first down on that one. On 
on the ground with the counter. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Timeout. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Look at the clock. Probably out of field goal range, David. Maybe time for one more shot. Desperation time. You, you got to dial up what you practice, whether it's the, the throw, Jesse, and a bunch of laterals, or you're chucking this thing as far as you can throw it. Yeah, somebody's going to have to just do something crazy to end up winning this game. But I'll tell you what, we've seen weird things happen in college football. Guys, that one was a ton of fun to call. And the players, a lot of games sort of wobble oh, unit back out there. This kicker has already banged a couple through. This kicker is two for two on the night, and he could say good night if he can win the game here. He Let's go. He puts three on the board. Celebration.